out from their nests. After they jump out from the nest, they will begin their growth. And we can see we are now uh, in Changbai Shan Mountain. Here is uh, the protected wetland. And here is uh, the protected area for Chinese magenzas. We can see the mountains are green and the water is clean here. Okay, today we've uh, got uh, the director from this uh, conservation area, Mr. Lee. Hello, because um, the small birds are going to jump out from the nest, so I need to keep my voice down. The tree is not very high, it's just uh, 10 meters high, right? So I'm afraid if uh, disturbing them. Can you introduce to us about uh, Chinese magenza? People call it uh, the panda in the water. Why it is so special? Chinese magenza has a history over a 10 million years, and it is a very extinctive uh, species. It's the living fossil. It has been included in the International Union for Conservation of Nature's Red List. It is regarded as one of the threatened species. I want our director to show some videos uh, to our viewers. And we will continue our discussion on this uh, special bird in order to let our audiences know more about it. Here is an important habitat for the magenzas. And now the Chinese magenzas, uh, many located in northeast China or the north of DPRK and the uh, Siberian area of uh, Russia. There were in total about two couples, two pairs of birds uh, living now. They migrant uh, from uh, the south once they arrive in Changbai Mountain, they will start to breed. So when do they fly to Changbai Mountain? In the middle of March, they will fly here gradually. And they start to breed here. They will build nests and lay eggs. And uh, by the end of October, they will fly back to the south. Are they mainly in this uh, section of the river, or they locate uh, on the whole mountain? According to our monitoring, they are mainly here in this uh, section of the river. In 2016, we found uh, one brood of birds uh, in another section of the river, but we found they mainly locate here. As far as we know, they have a high requirement on the nature. Yes, it's very strict. The water quality needs to be very high and clean. And there needs to be abundant uh, trees and food. What do they eat? They eat uh, different kinds of uh, fish. A 
abundant fish. The nest for this brood of birds are manually made. Can you introduce to us how many manual nests are here? Why do you establish these nests? This year, our Wetland Management Bureau built 25 manual nests. This section of river is 5 kilometers long. The tree cavities has uh, att have attracted uh, five uh, families of the birds. We are surprised at this. This proves that we've uh, been successful in manually making the nests. Usually, the Magansas choose the natural tree holes, but now it is very difficult to find such natural tree holes. Yes, they usually find the nests on the poplar or other trees. And now there are not so many tree holes. So in order to protect these species, we make the nests manually. It's a successful. Yes. And now let our director show the live uh, video on in the hall. This camera was fixed here since uh, last year. So we can see the whole procedure, including laying eggs and breeding and hatching. See, they are about to jump out from the nest. Our viewers can watch the live broadcasting of the nest. This is rare to see. What's the situation? Dear viewers, beside me is the expert from this uh, Maganza Protection Institution. I've been working this uh, on this uh, for 13 years. Do you know when will they leave their nests? According to our experience, if uh, there is no disturb disturbing, they will leave the nests within 20 minutes. But they need to watch uh, the sky first uh, to see if there is any enemies. And uh, our viewers can see the scene on the nest from our screen. At the same time, I will talk about this with our expert, Mr. Shi. Before they leave the nest, are there any predictions? They hatch 
24 hours go. And after 24 hours, when they are adapted to the temperature and the environment, they will leave the nests. And they mainly choose uh, the nice weather and the morning to leave the nest. If the temperature is low or the weather is not good, they will put off the time for leaving their nests. According to our observation, this bird laid 13 eggs. Will they all leave the nest? Yes. From our previous experience, we can find that the survival rate of the small birds are very high. Okay, let's uh, look forward to this uh, new life. There are 13 small Chinese magansers. Our viewers can name them because there are 13 of them. Did they hatch one by one? According to our observation, there is one bigger egg in the brood, which is bigger than the others. So we call it uh, the big brother. Once uh, they are about to leave the nest, they don't uh, fly out uh, together. Usually they fly out uh, by teams, and uh, there are two to three birds in each team. And uh, the first uh, bird uh, fly in out will lead the others, the smaller ones. Let's watch the video. Mr. Shi, many viewers are asking that what's uh, the difference between Chinese maganzer and the common maganzer? During the third glacier period, Chinese uh, maganzer were survived. Once uh, this section of the river w is polluted, these uh, Chinese magansas will not uh, migrate here. But for the common magansas, they don't have uh, so high and strict requirements on the e environment. So after our protection, we've uh, recovered this uh, water quality and to build a favorable living environment for these uh, Chinese magansas. As we know, they have a uh, really strict uh, requirement on living environment. So this is the difference. And second, Chinese uh, magansers uh, have uh, different uh, shapes from the common magansers. They have uh, the crown feathers on their head, it's just like uh, the hats uh, from Qing Dynasty. So why these uh, small birds uh, uh, need to leave the nest uh, immediately after birth? 
According to our observation, the birds, small birds, have to find the food 24 hours after their birth. So we can see this uh, hole is uh, about uh, 10 meters from the ground. Will they fall onto the ground? I don't need to worry about that because when we were building these uh, tree holes, we calculated the heights. Some of the natural tree holes are even 20 or 30 meters from the ground, but they are uh, good at it. And the, once the birds are emerging into the water, they can, they are able to find the food. The mother will make a large voice, and then the small birds will leave out one by one. From our observation, we found that some tree holes are so high, and uh, the small bird uh, fall onto the ground. We thought they may be dead, but actually they fly again. Because uh, this uh, help them uh, grow up. Dear viewers, uh, good morning. We are now in the protection areas on uh, Changbai Mountain, and we are live broadcasting the living nests of uh, Chinese magansas. So, Mr. Shi, there are 13 eggs in this brood. As far as we can see, the shells, uh, there are many shells, so these eggs must all be survived. Yes, the eggs are all hatched. And they are now staying below the mother's belly in order to keep warm. Some of the natural holes are as deep as 1.2 meters, but they can still jump out from the nest. And this manual nest is only 65 centimeters deep. How large, how big the small bird is, they're just like the size of the fist. We can see the nature really empowers them. So, Mr. Shi, do you stay with them since uh, the breeding and hatching? Yes, they arrived here in the middle of uh, March, and they chose uh, the tree hole, and the mother breeds uh, and hatch the eggs. We've uh, been closely watching them. I heard that there is a dangerous situation. Uh, 
Wait a moment. Our director will show the video to us. At that time, there is a long snake entering this hole. And this brood of birds were almost caught and dead. Because we were observing this hole, so we caught the snake. If we were late, this whole brood of birds will be dead. Uh, we can see the monitoring a video at that time. The snake climbed up the tree. We built the iron ladders and uh, the covers because once uh, the snake wants to climb up, it will fall down because it will be very sleepy. Uh, this snake is uh, very long. Is it poisonous? No, but uh, it's the major enemy to uh, Magansas. From our observations, uh, the small snake cannot eat the birds, but if this uh, long snake entering enter their nest, uh, the birds will be eaten. That was uh, at 12 o'clock at noon. Our staff uh, caught the snake with the hand covers. And uh, there was a voice from the snake. That's terrible. Without um, this um, monitor, the axe uh, will be dead. Our workers uh, immediately climb up and uh, caught the snake. The snake is searching for the Eggs. There were 13 eggs. Also, the snake is really horrible. This uh, type of a snake is uh, the natural enemy to uh, the Magansas. If we didn't prevent this from happening, this whole brood of eggs will be ruined. And we see our staff uh, climbed up, and they return this snake back to the wild because we don't hurt the animals. Each tree has a special protector. They monitor the tree 12 hours, 24 hours. Before the small birds leaving the nest, the mother bird uh, will show some indications. The mother bird is uh, staying in the nest to give a warm temperature to the small birds. The hatching temperature is about 28 to 30 degrees. So in order to hatch the eggs, uh, as soon as possible, the mother bird will keep warm. Sometimes the hatch will last for a whole day. From our observation, the mother bird has to stay in the nest for a day and a night. After 20 days, 
After hatching, the male maganza will leave. Before hatching, the female maganza fly out to a search for food twice a day, and uh, the male maganza will accompany the female maganza to the hole. So before the small birds leaving the nest, what indications will they bring? They will look upward to the sky and to see if there are any enemies. The most herding animals are the eagles from the sky, and from the ground there are many. Uh, there are many. Need the obstacles, uh, and they will also identify that in advance. Are there any changes? Mr. Shi is uh, closely watching on the screen. All our staff are closely watching them and protecting them. Every one of us uh, is holding a tool. Once uh, there is uh, their nature enemies coming, we will help protect them. For the first uh, seven days uh, after the small birds entering the water, the mother bird will be very anxious because there will be many enemies. So at the first half month, they will just slay close to the bank and find some small food. And after half a month, the mother bird will train the small birds swimming and diving. The small birds are very naive. Sometimes they stay in groups. But once their mother shouts, all the small birds will run to the mother and follow the mother. It's just like the slogan, yes, there is their own language. So what are the special habits of the Chinese Magenses? In terms of uh, habits, once the Chinese magansas arrive in our protected area, they will search for food. They only eat living animals. Sometimes uh, they eat uh, fish and uh, frogs. Our management bureau enhance uh, and uh, sending out the fish to the river in spring in order to offer sufficient food to these uh, maganza, these magansas. Because after spring is the mating season, they have a high requirement on nutrition, so we need to increase uh, the fish in the river.
as far as we can see, the mother is not observing at the mouth of the hole. We need to wait and don't disturb them. Maybe the temperature and uh, the other elements are not ready, so they are waiting for the best condition. And if the temperature is not warm, the small birds uh, will be very difficult to, to fly out. In the five uh, manual analysis uh, that uh, uh, with uh, the Magansers, this one is the closest uh, to the river. So this is an ideal distance uh, for them to leave the nest. Our manual nests uh, are just uh, beside the river. Last year, there was only one brood of mergansers in the amanium nests, and this year there are five. Why we established the manual nests just beside the rivers? That's to protect the small birds. So Mr. Shi, they may be more vigilant uh, while leaving the nest. From our observation, sometimes it lasted for one hour for them to uh, leave the nest. Sometimes uh, it only lasts for 20 minutes. They mainly observe uh, the animals uh, outside. They just look out uh, and to uh, identify the animals, and they uh, go back to the hole. Sometimes it takes time. But sometimes uh, if uh, uh, one small bird is jumping out, uh, the mother will follow them, and the others will also follow them. The small birds are really willing to go out. They all want to be the first one to look at the nature. The outside world is interesting to them. With their mother's protection, 
they may be prevented from the enemies. And uh, under the protection of our management bureau, once the small birds are in the river, we have a special workers and staff uh, to protect them. Dear viewers, okay, they are about to leave. They are about to leave the nests, although we kept a low voice. It still impacts them. So let's keep silence for a moment because they are about to leave the nest. Mr. Shi gave me a gesture. They are about to leave the nest. Ten minutes later, these small birds will jump out from the nest one by one. Can you talk with us in a low voice just like me? Yes. From our observation, four minutes later, uh, 10 minutes later, they will jump out from the nest. And now the mother is uh, flapping the wings. That's to warn their small birds to be ready. Will our voice affect them? Usually, it will not. Because uh, we've been uh, staying with them for long, they are used to us. You see, the small bird is climbing up. They are about to jump out. Please observe that maybe after five minutes they will jump out from the nest. The mother looks out to three to five minutes. They will jump out at around eight o'clock.
some small birds are eager to climb out. They are the leading brothers. Who is more stronger? Who will be the first to climb out? They have to jump out. Well, they immediately catch the fish and eat the fish. No, they first eat the floating uh, food and or some small uh, shell in the river. You see, they are climbing together. This is fabulous. Hold your breath. That's so cool. And now we can witness this life is spectacular. The whole year's uh, preservation are waiting for this moment. As she's shouting, so to ask uh, the small birds to be ready to leave. I'm so anxious. We are the same. I'm still worrying about the height because uh, the hole is uh, too high from the ground. But the whole 13 birds are healthy, right? Yes, they are endangered. They are rare species. But they are confident to raise the small birds. We've uh, changed it to another angle. And we can see the mother bird is uh, looking around from the ground to the sky and from the right to the left. She's observing. Soon, will the mother fly or jump? It depends. Some will fall to the ground, some will fly to the water. The small birds in the hole are so eager to jump out. Okay, she's jumping. So great. One bird and two of them are flying together. Can I speak? Don't worry, dear viewers. They will jump out one by one. Please be pa patient. Is this the last one? The smallest one is very weak, but we are confident. 
Let's see whether the other birds are waiting for this one. They are not waiting for him. Let's take a look at the one in the hole. Is this common? No. The bird is uh, still struggling. The mother bird is uh, still shouting. The mother birds must have also be anxious. You see, they are waiting for this bird. The mother and the babies are waiting for this smallest one. They left. Will she has no choice. Will she need to take care of the other birds? But they are still nearby and they are waiting. Have you met this situation? No, this is the first time. Sometimes it takes time for the small bird to jump out, but uh, from our observation, this is the first uh, time this situation occurred. And the smallest bird is so poor. Some viewers are asking, will the birds uh, fly back? No, they won't be back. Once they jump out from the nest and uh, enter the water, they won't be back, and the mother won't be back. If uh, the small bird can't jump out, can we help them? Later on, if uh, it is so difficult for it to jump out, we will help it. Can he survive? Yes. So later on, our staff uh, will help this small bird. Yes, we will help it. If we don't help it, it will naturally die. With the, the limited time, if the bird cannot search for food, it will die. Can we uh, live broadcasting the staff? Uh, helping. Okay, dear viewers, please stay tuned with us. So later on, we will see the protectors. Mr. Shi has been working in this protected area for Magansas for more than a decade, but it's uh, the first time for him to see this situation. The mother bird laid 13 eggs. All the eggs are hatched. But when they are jumping out from the nest, only 12 of the small birds uh, jumped out. This smallest one is so weak. So it is difficult for him to jump out. We are so anxious. Without uh, human's help, this smallest bird will be dead. And uh, the enemies will eat it. 
if uh, it's just the, the common bird, we may uh, be better. But this uh, rare species is the grade one protected animal in China. So once uh, even one of them is dead, it is a huge loss to the nature and the protected area. That's a priceless loss. In the Changbai mountain area, there were only 400 uh, magenzas. And in the whole world, there are about uh, 2,000 pairs of them. The small bird is still struggling to approach the hole. We see his body size is smaller than his brothers and uh, sisters. Mr. Shi introduced to us uh, the first egg was uh, laid on 31st of March, and the last one was uh, laid on the 15th of April. So we see the smallest uh, bird was uh, laid 15 days after the first one. So the life circle of this small list bird is uh, slower than the others. Maybe the mother hatched uh, this smallest egg uh, for the longest time uh, in the warmest uh, area. But we still don't know whether it can uh, grow up uh, the same as the brothers and sisters. Just now, our viewers uh, witnessed uh, the spectacular of the nature and the life. And now, we will watch how the protectors uh, deal with uh, this uh, smallest uh, bird. The smallest bird is uh, struggling, but we can see it's tiring. We see it's tiring. It's not jumping frequently as just now. So, Mr. Shi, it's the first time we meet with this situation.
is tired. Where did you go? We found uh, two small birds were left. And after observation, we found uh, these are not uh, merganses. It's uh, the other type of bird. These two birds are Mandarin ducks, so the mother Mackenzie identified that these are not uh, her babies. She just uh, took uh, the other smaller birds. So what will you do with uh, these Mandarin ducks? We will leave them into the water because we cannot uh, help them. And it, it will be soon we climb up to this uh, Magenta's hole. It's also our first time to see the Mandarin dark in the nest. We cannot identify whether this is a boy or a girl. It's uh, mysterious. So the Mandarin duck also laid eggs in the tree hole. It's the first time we found Maganzer hatch the Mandarin duck's eggs. But this hurt these two small Mandarin ducks. They have different languages. This hatching lasted for a whole day. The mother Maganza didn't know these two small eggs are from Mandarin duck, so she hatched these two eggs also. And this is really rare to see. The Maganza hatched the two Mandarin ducks. We've never seen this before. Let's uh, return them into the water. I was wondering why the mother Maganzer left these two eggs, uh, these two birds, uh, because they are Mandarin ducks. We are live broadcasting now. Dear viewers, our protector is climbing up the tree, and later on we will just show this uh, from this angle. We cannot see the situation in the hole, and we will wait to see. Uh, whether this smallest bird is a Mandarin duck or Chinese maganza. Just like uh, Mr. Li and Mr. Shi said, why we need to build the manual holes? Because usually Chinese magenzas uh, take uh, the natural tree holes as their nest, but it is so difficult to find uh, such holes because the hole needs to be very big. And the trees need to be over a century years uh, history. 
and the, the trees holes need to be a necrosis, necrotic. And some tree holes are dominant, dominated by other birds. So it is very difficult for the Chinese magenzas to find such a tree holes. And why the Chinese magenzas are endangered, there is one of the elements is that it is difficult to find such a tree holes. The protectors uh, is uh, helping the smallest uh, and tired bird. Okay, the protector is demolishing the instruments uh, around the nest. Mr. Shi, is he looking for the small bird? Yes. So after this brood, there will be another family of uh, magenzas living here. After this autumn, maybe the mother magenzer will choose this hole again. But if other magenzers came early, come earlier, they will uh, live in another hole. They search for holes uh, in a harmonious way. Just now we were wondering and anxious why these two small birds were left. And after approaching, we found these two eggs are not magenzas. They are mandarin ducks. So that's the nature. We immediately put these two mandarin ducks in the water. We have no choice. We just want to help them. If uh, we don't help them, they will be dead in the hole. We've uh, prepared for that. The Mandarin duck is also the great two protected animal in China. We put them into the glass of water.
just now a signal was uh, stopped. And I wonder, can this Mandarin duck uh, survive uh, in other Mandarin ducks family? No, they are during hatching period. We built this uh, glass of water because uh, sometimes uh, the small birds uh, jumped onto the ground and they will be very weak. But the mother duck has already left, so we prepared this glass of water to help them. But this is the first time we see Mandarin duck from the tree hole. Our staff uh, will build a, a nest in the river and put these two Mandarin ducks into the nest. Our staff is still trying to pick the smallest bird. And once uh, we've got this smallest bird, we will put uh, it into the river. And the mother McGann's uh, will take this smallest bird. The smallest bird is uh, very weak. The first egg was laid on the 31st of March, and 15 days later, the last uh, egg was laid. We found 13 eggs. This is rare to see. We didn't uh, expect there are two uh, Mandarin ducks in this hole. From my observation, I found if uh, these two Mandarin ducks were not in the hole, this smallest bird may be out. The, Maganzer, the mother Maganza may help this smallest bird. And now we understand why this smallest, ba smallest bird was left behind. That's because there are two Mandarin ducks in them. The flowers uh, uh, sometimes live on each other, but we didn't know. Uh, birds still are still the same. It is uh, possible that uh, when the hole is empty, the Mandarin duck uh, went here to lay eggs. Because of the natural limitations, there are not so enough uh, tree holes. But we didn't find this. I think uh, once uh, the mother Maganza flight out, uh, the Mandarin duck laid eggs here. Where is the other Mandarin duck? We are looking for it. It is difficult, but we will try our best to find it back. But these small Mandarin ducks are afraid of the nature. Well, just now we found after they fly out, the mother Maganza I uh, find uh, these two Mandarin ducks have uh, the different languages uh, and habits. So she left these two uh, Mandarin ducks. Uh, we were also shocked uh, why the mother Maganza left these two uh, Mandarin ducks. And after we approached, uh, we found uh, these are not Magenzas, they are Mandarin ducks. This is an unhatched egg.
from our observation, we think this egg is still Mandarin duck. The Maganza egg is similar to a Mandarin duck. To uh, they are different. This is uh, has a small tip, but the Maganza ducks, uh, Maganza's egg are similar to the home ducks. So the Mandarin duck laid three eggs in this hole, but the Maganza hatched two of them. This is very difficult because they have a really different uh, uh, habits. Can we conduct a manual hatching for this? No. There is no temperature. It's cold. That means it's dead. There is no virtual sign. As the common saying goes, one if uh, the eggs are alive, uh, we can feel the temperature is usually 28 to 29 degrees. But this egg is cold, so it's that it cannot be hatched. Okay, the smallest uh, bird. is coming out. So we now know three Mandarin dogs uh, prevented this uh, smallest bird. But the Maganza, Mother Maganza uh, left these uh, three Mandarin dogs. Let's approach it. It wasted so many so much energy. Let's put it into the water. It's uh, totally different. Maganza can dive, but uh, the Mandarin dark cannot. This is the typical difference. Once the maganza is in the water, it can directly catching fish, catch fish and dive, but the mandarin dark cannot. And don't worry, because we have a staff at the lower stream, and we will put this maganza uh, back. The egg I'm holding is definitely Mandarin dog's egg. Uh, what's your feeling now? Now I'm um, very excited because we um, we didn't know these are Mandarin dogs. It's so rare to see. You must have did uh, harsh work in the past month. I found uh, your face is very black. That's my nature. When do you get up in the morning? We get up. We arrive here at uh, three o'clock in the morning. Yesterday we found uh, one natural. Nature, uh, n natural enemy to this uh, maganza. When we found the enemy, so we stayed here. We didn't leave here. According to the law of the nature, maybe the enemy smells uh, them. Many things the things in the nature are hard to explain. Maganzas are so special and rare species.
is uh, very precious. They are uh, staying in a harmonious way. And now you can see two survivors. One Mandarin dark in the Maganza's hole, and one Maganza was left behind because there were two, three Mandarin dogs eggs in the hole. These two uh, small birds are protected in the glass and after deliberation they will after a uh, discussion they will put uh, these two uh, uh, birds uh, back to the nature. Today's live streaming is unprecedented. It is also unprecedented for the uh, protectors that uh, one uh, Maganza left uh, behind uh, in the hole. And uh, there were three Mandarin dog's eggs in the hole. We didn't hear about this. We didn't hear of this. OK. The other uh, Magansers uh, followed the mother, and uh, they've uh, started their new life in the nature. But these two survivors uh, have uh, uh, what what's their future will be. That needs uh, the protector's help. That's the end of today's live streaming. Thank you for watching.